This world is not what you think it is. This world is not what you think it is. Go, go. Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's Jay Dreamers. This is not a mirror, it's a glass of water. Why am I showing you a glass of water? Because this is one of the breadcrumbs that proves that the Earth is a plane. You see, if you fill up a glass of water to the top, you can tell it's perfectly flat. As a matter of fact, you know it's perfectly, perfectly flat because of the perfect mirror-like reflection that you get from it. If there's any distortion whatsoever in the reflection, that means that there's a distortion or a curving in the water. But if it's a perfect reflection, that means the water is perfectly level. Now, water always finds its level. Um, it all finds its level. And whenever we say water always finds its level, what we mean is it is always flat on the top. Now, if you can do this test at home. You can pour yourself a nice glass of water and you can see that it flattens out on the top. And then you can take it to another extreme and you can fill your bathtub. And when the bathtub is full, you can see that it finds its low. It's flat on top. You can go to a nice still swimming pool. You can see that the water is flat on top. You can go to your local pond or lake and you can see, sure enough, that water is flat on the top. Now some people might be able to look at the glass of water and I might say, hey, does, is it flat on top? And they'd say, yeah, of course it's flat on top. Then I'd say, okay, what about the bathtub? Is it flat on top? And they say, yeah. Well, what about the, the pond or the swimming pool or the lake? And they'll go, yeah, yeah, it's flat. It's, it's perfectly flat on top. I agree, water finds its level. But then, whenever you ask them, is the ocean flat? That's whenever the gears, it's like a wrench is thrown into the system because their subconscious realizes, uh-oh, I've just been caught. Now I have to come to terms with something because if the oceans are flat, if the oceans and those giant bodies of water follow suit with the smaller versions, that must mean that the oceans are flat. And if the world, as I know it, is mostly covered in ocean, that means that the world, as I know it, at the very least, must be mostly flat. So, what I found is that people start backtracking when you get to the oceans. They go, oh, no, no, the oceans are definitely curved. They're not flat whatsoever because of the ball. And you go, well, what, what happened to the lakes? Um, well, yeah, there, there's probably some curvature to the lakes as well. Well, what, what about the swimming pool? There's, there's probably, it's probably real small, but yeah, there's probably, there's probably some curvature there too. All right, what about this glass of water? That is perfectly flat. Now, if this is flat, it stands to reason that it doesn't matter what the size is, it's going to stay flat and constant the bigger and bigger it gets. Just because it gets bigger and bigger doesn't mean all of a sudden it starts to be able to have magical properties to conform to the sides of a rounded surface. Water doesn't do that. Water remains and stays flat all the time. So anyways, this is just a simple breadcrumb. As you can see, if it's a flat surface, it gives you a perfect mirrored reflection. That's how you know living on a flat earth. It is part of the natural physics of water and other fluids to always find their level and remain flat. If disturbed in any way, motion ensues until the flat level is resumed. If dammed up then released, the nature of all liquids is to quickly flood outwards, taking the easiest course towards finding its new level. From W.T. Lin's First Principles of Natural Philosophy, the upper surface of a fluid at rest is a horizontal plane because if a part of the surface were higher than the rest, those parts of the fluid which were under it would exert a greater pressure upon the surrounding parts than they receive from them. 
so that motion would take place amongst the particles and continue until there were none at a higher level than the rest, that is, until the upper surface of the whole mass of fluid became a horizontal plane. If the Earth is an extended flat plane, then this fundamental physical property of fluids finding and remaining level is consistent with experience and common sense. If, however, the Earth is a giant sphere tilted on its vertical axis, spinning through never-ending space, then it follows that truly flat, consistently level surfaces do not exist here. Moreover, if the Earth is spherical, then it follows that the surface of all Earth's water, including the massive oceans, must maintain a certain degree of convexity. But this is contrary to the fundamental physical nature of water to always be and remain level. the bottle you put in the teapot it becomes the teapot now water can flow or it can crash be water my friend This world is not what you think it is This world is not what you think it is Oh, oh